and today I'm going to teach you how to make mashed butternut squash. It is so easy and it's a great seasonal recipe. The first thing you want to do is get a nice large squash and you're going to slice it in half long ways. As you can see, I have spooned out all of the seeds and guts. I have uh, placed in the bottom of my baking dish here about an inch of water. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is about an inch of water in here. So I've preheated my oven to 350 and we're going to bake this for about 35 minutes. It does depend on your squash and your oven and all of these factors because we really want to make sure it's very soft so that we can spoon it out, okay? Looks like our butternut squash is done, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the oven. <clears throat> also, the reason I know it's done is because I took a fork and I poked it in there and you see how it's like goes in really easily? That means it's done and it's going to mash really, really easily. So now I'm just going to let the butternut squash cool for probably about a half an hour. All right, well, the squash has been cooling for about a half an hour. And now I'm just trying to get it out of the skin. So we've got the squash in here, and now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then here's a fourth cup chives. I love chives, especially because they're in season, and so is the squash. So this is a great seasonal, seasonal dish. Seasonal cooking is one of my favorite things. And now I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Typically I use Earth Balance natural buttery spread in this, or any kind of like mashed potato or mashed dish, but I didn't have any, so I'm just using olive oil because it's whatever, it's just, it's still gonna taste really good. Um, it's probably not gonna be as salty, but it's gonna be really, really good anyway because olive oil is such a great flavor. And it's all about improvising and using what you have on hand. Don't get too stressed about following the recipe to a T. If something calls for butter, just use either Earth Balance or um, your favorite vegetable-based oil. If you're gonna be cooking as a butter substitute or baking, I think canola oil or grapeseed oil, for things that are already cooked, then olive oil is probably the way to go depending on what the dish is. So I'm just adding some fresh ground black pepper and sea salt. It's just a taste. You don't need too much. And we're just going to mash it. You can also do this in a food processor, but I figured I'd show off my vegan muscle a little bit here and mash this by hand. If you don't have a nice potato masher, then use a whisk. And voila! Thank you so much for watching this video on how to make mashed butternut squash. I hope you enjoy it and serve it to your family this holiday season. Have a great day.